Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Nuwuki, and today I'm going to be showing off a little mod that I made. Uh, it didn't really take me all that much time to make, but uh, I'm hoping it'll be useful for some of you server admins and uh, people who just like to play around with stuff. So, um, I'll go ahead and tell you real quick what it's about. It's basically a PvP kits mod, so if you've ever had trouble as an admin for uh, people who try to steal items from events or try to say, hey, I'm going to give everyone an assault rifle so they can fight, and then they all try to take off of the items or it takes you forever to distribute them, well, I'm going to give you your own little system here. Uh, so basically what I've done is I've made an item that you can um, spawn in uh, right here. This is a little command. I'll post it in the description here. And I know the icon for it isn't currently working, unfortunately. But it, what this basically does is it allows you to cla craft classes. So I made uh, four little presets, I believe. You can unlock them here at the bottom. You got uh, four here. And then you can go to... This is just a Tinto Berry. I just picked it up on accident. Uh, you can choose which one you want. We'll say we'll do the Assault Kit this time. And basically what the Assault Kit is going to do is it's going to give you um, an Assault Rifle, Fabricated Pistol, Sword, Cooked Prime Meat, Canteen, and a uh, Modern Token which is going to allow you to craft your armor. So once you choose your... Um, once you choose your class, you choose your team. So now that you have your team all blue and that's all it takes that's all it takes and all you gotta do is you distribute those tokens to players and anyone can craft them and the uh, players are incapable of crafting the tokens so you know this thing can't be broken as long as you don't let a thousand tokens go missing somehow um, you'll be fine And if you do just uninstall the mod and reinstall it, it'll be fine um, so and basically uh, there are a couple little things I've noticed so far like that little icon being weird it gives you a blue team thing here I kinda like that though it doesn't bother me um, you can also choose, obviously, like these close quarter combat, engineer, sniper, and those are the little kits I have created so far. I didn't put grenades there because people may not realize it, but grenades do structure damage, and I didn't want people blowing up people's arenas on accident. That could be problematic. But as you can see, this is just your standard assault rifle. And I know my uh, my computer's running a little heavy right now for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but I, I basically I tweaked these to where they'd work against people best, not against dinosaurs. So if you see me taking a few shots to kill those against dinosaurs. It shouldn't be a big deal. It should take about five shots to kill an average person. And this armor here, it doesn't actually add any armor to you. You can see it says zero, zero. Um, it gives you a crap ton of hypothermal insulation and hyperthermal, so there's no way you're going to get hot or cold. That's not going to affect you. Um, it's got a ton of durability, so it's not going to break. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. And you, everything here spoils in like... 30 minutes. So you got 30 minutes to use it before everything except for the cooked prime meat because it just has a higher timer spoils. So you can't steal anything. I mean these bullets in theory you could steal but they're not going to work for an average gun. Your average assault rifle will not take these bullets. They are completely custom. Um, <coughs> I'll go ahead and show you a, a couple more of these classes real quick. Just so you can see what I've done. Once again I'll put that um, command in the description so you guys can do that. We want to craft a close quarter combat, engineer, and sniper. So let's see, uh, where are they? Okay, fabricated sniper here. I did tweak each of these things. The pistols are all the same. They're going to have eight shots per pistol. Uh, here's another assault rifle, pump action shotgun. That's the close quarter combat class. And um, I believe this is actually the submachine gun. I just re redid the assault rifle and made it um, act differently. To where it shoots much faster. That's and it has less ammunition, does a little less damage, shoots way faster, reloads a little bit faster, and that's your submachine gun. I didn't have a new model for it, so I didn't um, bother making a new model. As you can see, it's just your standard uh, submachine gun. Your shotgun here has got a little bit of increased damage. Um, that's about it. It doesn't really do anything special, and it's just a shotgun. And then you can see um, your sniper rifle, I did tweak a little bit to where it had like perfect accuracy when you were aiming out, and I don't think that's that's realistic, so I, I decreased the accuracy when you're aiming. It also can't rapid fire, it fires one shot every 2.5 seconds. So you can see, I'm going to shoot here, I'm going to hold it down. I think it's every two seconds actually. But as you can see, it's not qu nearly as quickly, so you can't just spam people and uh, run around the corner and fire him in the face a hundred times. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to work on making versions of the grenades that aren't quite as destructive. 
uh, maybe C4 as well, rocket launcher or whatnot. But for now, this is what I got. Let me know what you think in the comments. Any suggestions would be very welcome. But once again, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.